All right, guys. So I wanted to make a little video, just um, documenting, explaining my situation with my bathroom leak. Uh, this is a Fun Finder Extra uh, 20 foot toy hauler, 2009 model, and I used it this fall. And we had some really, really cold nights in October. One night got down to like six or seven degrees and I just forgot to winterize it because it had been like 70 the week before that um, I put a heater in it and it didn't do enough so should have winterized it but anyway ended up with some leaks uh, busted my water pump under here but anyway to get to what this video is about I replaced my water pump I thought all was well I went to take a shower in this shower one weekend and my entire floor flooded from underneath here you can see it's kind of running out where i've been testing it so I, th I thought oh crap uh i busted something underneath here somewhere that i won't be able to get to so i pulled it in my garage and i kind of uh, it ended up sitting in there for like a month before i've had time to work on it so i came out today and checked it out i took this panel off and there's really no lines under here besides like uh a big black line of some sort but uh i could see the shower lines in the back coming up the wall and so i turned on the water to see where it was leaking and it was falling straight down the wall um into the floor so just spraying like crazy so i knew uh, it's got to be coming from up top somewhere and the only place there's any water up there is the faucet right here so this uh the shower head had actually busted too and i had taped that up and was using it um, but obviously something else was busted behind here so in this model toy hauler you have this little closet you have to remove a shelf and there's another access panel here so i, I took this access panel off turned the water back on and boom it was dribbling down here and both sides so i thought crap how do i know if it's my hot or my cold water because i was really worried it was one of these lines or something because that would just i've never fixed one of those before and i thought that would be a real pain but uh yeah so there's some little you screw these connectors off and then there's like a little nut that you screw off which are these these are on the back of the fumble fingers these are on the back of the faucet here and they basically just attach the faucet to the wall so start looking looked at these threads sorry guys the light in here is horrible so the camera has trouble focusing uh didn't see anything busted in these threads and then i started looking i don't know if you can see that or not but it's cracked find some better light there we go focus see that crack right there so this whole tube is cracked so didn't matter if i had hot water turned on cold water turned on whatever the whole tube was cracked the good news is this is an easy fix this is uh 14 for this like exact one on amazon uh so hopefully that is the last of my busted stuff so guys please winterize your stuff um, i winterized the last two years i had no issues i flirted with it this year and i ended up costing myself a 90 dollar water pump a 14 dollar faucet setup and a 15 dollar shower wand setup so a little bit of laziness cost me 150 bucks and a crap ton of time so just little words of wisdom but yeah get this thing and get her all fixed and uh go camping thanks for watching